Welcome back to Gracefield Families today. Hey everyone. Today we are going to give you three practical tips to help keeping your kids safe on screens because there is a great misconception that the biggest risk to our kids is the amount of time yeah, that our kids have on the screen. True. But we believe that is not true. We believe that the biggest risk to our kids is the content that they're watching, not the amount of time. So stay tuned and pick up those three tips to keep your kids safe. All right, so today we're talking about the content your children consume. And I think it's been sold as a misconception that screen time is the most important factor that impacts your child development. Now, we are big, big believers that screen time needs to be reduced, that our kids need the opportunity to play outside, be bored, mm. get creative, not be dumbed down on a screen all the time. But not all screen time's bad. No. Like family movie time, not bad. Not bad. Great. School. School. Um, when they're using it for the purpose of education and the productiveness on that, great. Uh, reading eggs, it's cool. Brilliant. Kids learn how to read. Le Duolingo, lots of kids, yep. lots of teenagers are off their own back learning foreign languages so using good. Duolingo. I mean, not all screen time is bad. And sometimes screen time, like say Duolingo for two or three hours, not a bad thing whatsoever. No. Okay? Still love breaks, get outside, all that sort of stuff. But content is the thing that is going to impact your child's development yeah. more than screen time will. So let's say, for example, 30 minutes of pornography versus whoa. 30, yeah, let's go <laughs> there, versus 30 minutes of bluey. And I say pornography and we go, whoa. But if there aren't things in place, your kids have access if they've got a phone uh, or mm. a... Or a um, an iPad or a laptop, they have access to that as easily as you have access to that. Yeah. Okay, so 30 minutes, graphic violence, we're talking pornography, we're talking um, like even sometimes like shopping addiction type stuff. Like 30 minutes of your kid on that versus 30 minutes on Bluey or Duolingo or something like that, mm. age appropriate content yeah. is going to have a far more devastating impact yeah. on your kids than the amount of time they spend on something else. So you're not saying the time's the factor. It's time's the not the content. factor. It's, it's the, the content. content. The yeah. content is the absolute factor. And we need to, as parents, be 100% proactive mm. in how we protect our kids online. Yeah. Uh, and one of the useful things is what you can find online on your system, they can also find online on their system. Yeah. So I'm not saying go and find stuff, but maybe that's, that's a test you could do is what can I get on it? Yeah, and I guess we need to protect what goes into our minds. And if you read in Romans 12, let me read it for you. Verse 1 to 2, it says, Therefore I urge you, brothers and sisters, in view of God's mercy, to offer your bodies as a living sacrifice, holy and pleasing to God. This is your true and proper worship. Do not conform to the pattern of this world, but be transformed by the renewing of your mind. Then you'll be able to test and approve what God's will is, mm -hmm. his good pleasing Amen. and perfect will. Guys, it is our responsibility as a parent to teach our kids to consume wise and safe content. And it's our job to put measures in place to keep them safe. Once you've seen something, you can't unsee it. And Absolutely. so we need to constantly be renewing our minds, seeing, making sure that what we're going into our minds, what's going into our kids' minds, is safe and is wise and is going to um, be good for them. Yes. And so we yes. need to be countercultural. It's very mm. easy to say, here, have half an hour on screens. You've earned half an hour on screens. But if we don't have those measures, we are potentially not protecting our kids from seeing things or um, watching things that they isn't going to keep them safe. Yeah, absolutely. So three ways to make sure your kids are consuming safe content. Mm. Number one, you ready? Here we go. Internet filtering, okay? Now, there are many ways that you can filter your internet. You can pay for subscriptions. Uh, lots of modems have their own internet mm. filtering. But I wanna suggest that you're the best filter yeah. for your kids. Not at all to downplay those two. You, no. If you've got kids on devices, on their own at home, uh, you, sh you need, like AI internet filtering mm. on your yep. on your um, internet and your devices, um, but really you are a great filter. Yeah. Okay. Why? 
because all the a kid if they're trying to look at something they shouldn't uh, all their computer's going to say is you can't access that has that taught your child anything mm. okay but if you're there and you're checking search histories and doing like asking them what they're looking at and, and monitoring that what are you able to do mm. not to shame not to guilt not to put them down, but you are able to teach and grow them through yeah. being uh, good digital citizens, wise digital citizens of this yeah. world. And so we encourage you, be a filter yourself. Mm -hmm. Be really active in monitoring what your kids are watching and doing, but also have those other filters in place that restrict what they can and can't see. Absolutely, because if you don't have the internet filtering on, even the AI ones, then whatever you can see, your kids can see. Absolutely. So you make sure that um, you get them in place. Number two, keep devices out of the bedroom. Privacy allows for some very dangerous exploration online. Yeah, um, we've, we've actually done some training um, with an ex-police officer mm. that deals with so many cases of um, like sexualized offences really isn't yeah, it? Yeah um, absolutely so there's grooming okay yep. that's a big one through like TikTok and, and Facebook and Instagram don't get me started on TikTok by the way uh, look into that yourself it's not a great platform at all for, for kids to be using mm. um, but yeah grooming you've also got online bullying is massive yep. okay and that happens in the bedroom think about when you were a kid all right you'd go to school I was bullied a little bit as a kid I'd go to school I'd come home I had a break mm. bang as soon as I left the school ground no one could get to me unless they rung the phone and mum, it went through mum and dad and then I'd yeah. be like, no, nah, I don't want to talk to that kid. He's horrible to me or whatever. I don't think that ever happened. But online bullying, if they're in their room by themselves, that can be terrible. Yeah. Um, addictions to games, to, to looking at content they shouldn't be. Uh, it's, it's not a public place. It's a private place. It, it encourages dangerous exploration. Absolutely. And so keeping devices out of the bedroom is really important for safety. It's also important for sleep. Because, yeah, side note. Um, then your kids will sleep better um, if they're not looking at a screen and then straight away going to bed. Um, so yeah, so keep... Um, the, actually, the lady that taught us all about this, she was like, please, please, please keep them out of the bedroom. And if you have to, even get a lockbox to put them in um, so kids can't access them when you're asleep either. Um, Keep them safe. It's, it's actually a really simple really boundary easy. that yeah. you can just put straight in place as well. Yeah. Um, and the sleep thing, it's all about the way that your body um, releases the hormones that it needs uh, to go to sleep. If you're on a device um, the whole time, uh, then your body can't uh, release it, okay? Mm. And then you can't um, get to sleep. It takes yeah. a couple of hours. Anyway. All right, number three, Number Steve. three. Uh, this one I see all the time in teenagers and that is parents not monitoring particularly gaming ratings but also viewing ratings of tv shows and movies and things like that um i've mentioned porn but things like graphic violence uh particularly like first person shooter like violence can have a huge mm. detrimental impact to your kids growing up their empathy their kindness their love to others mm. um it can mess with them big time. And so if kids are on games that aren't suited to their age, uh, it's huge. Yeah. It, it, it can have huge impact. So make sure you're checking game ratings. I mean, things like Grand Theft Auto, when I hear, you know, year fives to sevens playing Grand Theft Auto, like it's not like it was when we were kids. Mm. Um, it was a fairly harmless game then. It's full on these days. So just be aware of the game ratings. Yeah. Little note too, social media doesn't have ratings absolutely and so um yeah there's lots of different ones there's you know facebook there's insta there's tiktok um and what you see again on these things on those social media platforms your kids can see so yeah. um i think of some of the humor stuff i watch and i think well my if my kid had instagram they could see that mm. um Think about, like, TikTok actually doesn't have a way that you can report content. Like, it, it, it doesn't, yeah. they don't have it. Facebook and Instagram at least have that. But TikTok, like, this live suicides happen on TikTok. Mm. Like, like, I'm not trying to shock you. I'm trying to give you truth. Like, this is what our kids can sh consume without mm. us knowing. Oh, it's just Instagram. They're going to talk to their kids. Next minute, they're watching all sorts of 
grotesque humor and yeah. um, videos they shouldn't be watching. So mm. again, whatever you can access, they can access. So yeah. it's worth jump on, see what you can access. What can you get onto? And it'll show you what they can get onto as well. Yeah, so it's really important to put up boundaries of social media. Here at Graceful Families, we actually have some really big advice that to actually not let your kids on social media until they are 18. 18. Yeah. Um, which sounds quite shocking and your kids will possibly hate you for that, but in the end, they will thank you for it because it can really put that boundary of protection for your kids. And we just can't put it across enough. We just long for you to protect your kids online. Absolutely. Um, Steve and his job, he I deal with it all deals the with it all the, all the time. Group messaging um, and issues that can come up with that. It is a huge, um, a huge problem. And so put in the boundaries that you can um, to protect your kids in that way. Absolutely. And like the, the age old one we hear from, from parents all the time is, oh, but they say all the other kids are doing it. Firstly, yeah. don't believe them that all the other parents are allowing them to do it. Secondly, believe that all the other parents are allowing their kids to do it and say, hang on, guys, we are to live as living sacrifices, yeah. you know, a, a holy and pleasing sacrifice to God. And we're supposed to renew our minds in a way that points heavenward. Yeah, mm. that's our calling as a Christian family. And so as a team, we have these boundaries in place so yeah. that we are protected and so that we can chase Jesus and, and give them experiences where they don't need social media. You know, go bushwalking, get outside, ride bikes, you know, play board games, pool tables, tennis, table tennis table, whatever it is. Um, connect as a team yep. rather than individuals on devices. But again, we're not saying that screen use is bad, bad nope. or anything like <laughs> that. Not. If you want to go, um, if you want your kids to have screen time, go for it. But please listen to this and put in the safety measures to protect your kids. Well, that brings us to the end of our episode today. But yes. we want to just encourage you to head on over to our website, www.gracefieldfamilies.com to pick up our free five-day guide to help your team to develop as a team, create the values that you um, can look at your values, look at your team members, look at your marriage, look at um, how to look after yourself as well and um, what you guys can do to continually grow as a family team. So head on over. Yeah, in the meantime, follow those three things. Yep. Internet filtering, make sure your viewer ratings are all good and keep screens out of the bedroom. Absolutely. Have a good week. See you guys. Bye.